Who the heck or who the hog is Spider-Ham? That's what we're going to find out in this video. Also, I must admit, I am enjoying some of the comments from the recent video. So today's MCC News, where um, people were <laughs> saying things like... Uh, uh, Ned, the Ned Flanders look, they would have liked that to be delivered, maybe next time. As well, somebody said that uh, with with me being kind of shaven, it looks I look like a baby. Somebody even said I look like Wallace and Gromit, so I look like a dog and Wallace. Cracking cheese, Gromit! It's all good, I found them hilarious, so um, thanks for that. But in any case, as a lot of you know, Spider-Ham is dropping next month, so let's learn a bit about the character and find out if he's got any different abilities than some of the other Spider-Verse based characters. And before this video kicks off, please hit the like button, support by going to Twitch and as well putting post notifications on all for this YouTube channel. Appreciate you, let's get into it. So I literally know nothing about this character except for the Spider-Verse film. Which, by the way, only became available on Netflix in the UK last month, which is crazy. Considering the film has been out over two years. Yes, UK Netflix isn't exactly the most quality of one, but we do have British stuff. Don't you know, don't you know, don't you know. But I digress. Peter Porker was born a spider simply named Peter, residing in the basement of the lab of May Porker, a slightly goofy animal scientist who had created the world's first atomic-powered hairdryer, hoping that the introduction of nuclear fission into America's beauty salons would revolutionize the hair care industry. And if you didn't already, May Pork is a pig. So this is already getting quite weird. After dousing her head with water and activating the dryer, May Porker accidentally irradiated herself and in a fit of delusion, bit Peter, who then found himself transformed in an anthropomorphic swine, much like May Porker herself running from the Porker homestead disorientated, Peter soon came to realize that he still retained a spider's abilities. Now this all went down on Earth 8311, hence the anything can happen in any of these Earths. I mean, we're going to be battling with the multiverse with the, the MCU and as well we've seen this with Into the Spider-Verse. So yeah, uh, it's going to get weird from there, I think. After this startling series of events, Peter, who adopted the surname Porker, that of his benefactor, May Porker, who after the accident reverted mentally to a state in which he believed she was Peter's loving aunt, dedicated himself and his newfound abilities to fighting injustice as Spider-Ham. Now, just to put all this into perspective, this is kind of like the Cat Murdoch world, especially because, you know, it's Cat Murdoch instead of Matt Murdoch. It's... If you don't know Kat Murdoch, she does amazing art for the community and as well just other stuff, infographics and a whole host of different things. But the way they've got like animals incorporated into things, like we've got Hulk Bunny, we've also got Ameri Captain Americat, and there's so many things. Mooster Fantastic, we've got uh, Ant Ant, Goose Rider, oh God. <laughs> Pete Dazzler. Jesus Christ. I don't even... They don't have Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is not there because it, it would have to be like an animal-based thing. Oh, there, there's there's loads. I'm just going to see if I can quickly find anything. Black Panda. Uh, Bormammu. <laughs> Bormammu. Jesus Christ. Batty Brandt. Uh, what else we got? It's just something really, really weird and out there. Uh, Kitty Bird. Mick Jaguar. Is that meant to be like Mick Jagger? But it's Mick Jagger. J. Jonah Jackal. Jesus Christ. Iron Mouse. I don't know if that's going to be like Iron Man, but a mouse. Oh, there's... Uh, there's loads. There's so many of these ones. I'll put a link in the description if you want to check it out, but they're just... What? Also, for those that don't know, one of the key enemies of Spider-Ham is Duck to Doom. I'm starting to wonder now whether or not we could see more of these in Marvel Contest of Champions. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I think I'm fine with Peter Porker for the time being, and let's just leave it there. Spider-Ham has had a lot of involvement into different things, especially over the years with the Marvel Universe. When it comes to Secret Wars, which if you don't know, a lot of Marvel Contest of Champions and as well some elements of Marvel Realm of Champions is all kind of linked and uh, interweaved into this stuff with the Battle World, Secret Wars and stuff like that. So it's kind of cool to see these kind of things linking together and especially as Kabam, Gabriel Fazera and the story direction seems to go in that way of bringing everything together, including Spider-Ham and various other weird characters. 
Going forward, I really hope to see more Spider-Verse characters, especially with Peter Porker being a good addition, but there are also some really cool other ones to link together and have some of a Spider-Verse squad. I know it would be really good for the Indian community to see Scarlet Spider and as well for me as I quite like the dark nature to it. The noir spider, so that kind of um, black noir type one. Not black noir from the boys, but you kind of get the idea. The one that's kind of a, this more of a an older detective or detectives type of thing. And everything's done in a kind of a 1940s style, 1930s, 40s style. But also there's Iron Spider, the one with the golden uh, like legs and as well uh, Spider 2099. So there's a lot really that could be added into the game. So the question we now got to answer is, are there any different abilities that Spider-Ham possesses different to say any of the others of the Spider-Verse? Well, funnily enough, right off the bat, yes. So if you've seen Into the Spider-Verse, and as well you can see on screen at the moment, there's something that he possesses called Spider-Nonsense. And Spider-Nonsense allows him to tap into a lot of the cartoonized version of taking down opponents. And you can even see this in the, I don't think it's motion comic, I called it a motion comic, but I believe it to be more of a gameplay type thing, especially from an SP3 perspective. The way that Spider-Ham is done in MCOC, of what we've seen some from, from the footage, is he's more cartoonized as opposed to being more of a, you know, what Dr. Octopus is in the image here. That he can tap into things like cartoonized creations, fabrications and uh, elaborations to then take down opponents. I mean, in this instance, it looks like crystals and as well catalysts are being thrown at Dr. Octopus, which is a pretty cool thing. So that must be something that the character can tap into in order to take down opponents. The same thing still remains as the other Spider-Verse characters. He retains the same abilities and as well power levels that of Spider-Man and the other Spider-Peoples in the Spider-Verse, uh, whether it's Earth-616 or the other ones respectively they're in. But man, I am so looking forward to this character. I think it's kind of kooky and weird and as well it does come to a point where you're like, you've got a serious character in Scarlet Witch being the new version that's coming into game and as well having something that's a bit kind of like fun and that's the thing, it's just nice putting into the game stuff that is fun. Last month, or the month of November, saw Immortal Hulk and Immortal Abomination. Two characters I think a lot of players are a bit iffy on when it comes to their... their do they like them? Do they not? Are they powerful? Are they not? Uh, am I going to warm to them? Or am I not? Either way, I think with this one, he's kind of lovable. And hopefully, Caban make him into a god tier. And as well, the same thing when it comes to the new Scarlet Witch. Which, you know, you think it will do justice. You hope. Fingers crossed on that one. But yeah. Spider-Ham added into the game. You've got a little bit of origin, a little bit of the abilities, then you know a little bit more. And thank you very much for watching this video. Make sure to check out some recent content posted up there somewhere. And don't worry, the beard will grow back. It was just a phase that I just thought, hey, I haven't done this in a while. Let's just shave it off and see what happens. So uh, maybe we'll get Ned Flanders diddlying uh, some content. But thanks for the support. See you all soon. Bye-bye.